Hello, my friends. I have one of our Scholastic magazines here. You may have already looked at it with someone in your family, maybe not. This one is all about litter and how we can kind of make sure that our earth is cleaned up because we don't want to leave trash and yuckiness all over the place. It's not good for our environment, for our earth. The title of this magazine is Save the Critters from Litter. Critters are another word for animals and litter is another word for trash that is left on the ground. The earth is our home. It's also home to animals. How can we help keep our home clean? Let's look inside. Bye-bye, litter. Oh. Bye-bye, litter. And over here, litter is trash that is left on the ground. It belongs in a trash can. Save the critters from litter. So here's some examples of some litter that could be found on the ground, like water bottles or food wrappers or plastic bags or crumpled up pieces of paper. So in our first box, number one, do you see any litter at this park? The park is my home. There's space to run. Please don't litter and don't ruin the fun. Squirrels and lots of other animals like birds and ducks and things like that live at the park. That's their home. And when people leave trash at parks, that makes their home messy. Do you see the litter there? That crumpled up piece of paper? Where do you think that should go? You could recycle it and put it in a recycling bin. Or if there's not a recycling bin, then you can put it in the trash can. Let's look at box number two. Do you see the litter there? The pond is my home. It's where I play. Do you see litter in my pond today? Here's a little ducky. Duckies love to swim in ponds, but it can be dangerous for us to put trash into the water. There are lots of times where um, I'll walk by, I'm walking by a pond or a park, and I'll see trash everywhere. It makes me so sad. And what I'll do is um, sometimes when I go on walks, I'll take gloves with me, and I'll pick up trash that I see in the park so I can keep it clean for the animals that live there. Here's box number three. This one makes Mrs. V really sad. The ocean is my home. I swim in the sea. Litter in the water is bad for me. And there's a little plastic bag. Um, luckily, our state, the state of New York, has um, kind of uh, tried to make us get away from plastic bags. Now when you go to the store, you have to bring reusable bags with you, which is great because so many of these plastic bags um, are now caught up in the ocean. What happens is um, it's really bad for the animals that live there. They can um, suffocate. It can hurt them so that, you know, these plastic bags or things like that get wrapped around their heads and then they can't breathe. So it's, um, it's a good thing that we're trying to get away from, we, we call them single use bags when you only use them once. It's a good thing. Even though sometimes it can be a pain in the butt to have to bring your own bags, it's much better for the earth when we do that. This is um, something that Mrs. V learned a lot about when I was in school. I went to school um, and part of my degree is in environmental studies, not just teaching. And I did a whole big project about something called the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. 
um, what I'll do is I'll give your parents a link to that if you'd like to see it. It's it's really crazy um, to see all of the trash that gets collected into the water. There's one particular spot called the Great Pacific Garbage Patch where all of this trash is collected because of the way that the water moves in the ocean and it, it kind of collects all in one area. This one particular area has a lot. So it's kind of crazy to see how much gets collected because people litter. So I'll, I'll give a link to your parents if you'd like to see what it looks like. It's pretty crazy. Our last box, number four. Look at that cute baby deer. We love baby animals. The forest is my home. It's nice and green. Don't litter here. Keep my home clean. Do you see the litter in this picture? There is a plastic water bottle right there. If you ever go for a walk in the woods, like if you go to Lime Hollow or if you go camping, make sure you never, ever, ever leave trash in the woods. They, they call it um, pack it in, pack it out. If you take it in, you have to take it out with you. Don't leave anything behind. It's really important to clean up after yourself so that we don't make our earth a mess. Let's, let's go ahead and flip to the back. In April, we celebrated Earth Day. It's a day that helps us remember to keep the earth clean. Kind of every day's Earth Day for Mrs. V. My mom calls me a hippie. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we are going to find the letters in Earth Day. We're going to find each letter. So what's our first letter in Earth Day? What's this first letter here? The letter E. Do you see it? Do you see it in this picture? There it is. E. Eh, eh, E. Like elephant or earth. Okay, what's our next letter? These are all capital or uppercase letters. What's this one? A, 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 like apple. Take a look and see. If you need a hint, I will tell you that this A is red, not blue. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, there's two. Well, it could be either red or blue. How about that? Because there's two A's. There's an A right here. Oopsie. And an A right here. There's two of them because there's another one over here in day. So you could find either of those. Now let's look for the R. R like race car driver. It's a red R. Or I guess that's orange. It's more orange. You find it? Here it is. Okay, what about the next letter? What's this one? Tall down slide. It's a T. T, -t, -t, -t. Like Tuesday. It's pink. If you can't find it, I'll give you a hint. It's next to a koala bear. T. Okay, the last letter in earth. We have that TH blend in earth. So we just found the T. Now we need to find the H, a purple H. A purple H. I'll give you a hint. If you can't find it, it's next to a bunny rabbit. There it is right there, H. Okay, so we found all the letters in Earth. Now we need to find all the letters in day, D A. It rhymes with May, the month that we're in. Let's find this letter first. What's this letter? Whoopsie, this thing keeps slipping down. 
the sound is d d d d d d. We need to find a blue d, a blue d. I'll give you a hint. If you can't find it, it's next to a panda bear. A panda bear. Here's the panda bear. There's the D. Okay, next one. You may have already found it, but we're looking for that second letter A, the red one this time. We found the blue one first. Now we need to find the red one. The red A. If you can't find it, it is a above a kangaroo. Above a kangaroo. There it is. Okay, last one. We have not done this letter yet. We haven't had it as a day of the week. Does anybody know what this letter is? Do you know? This is a capital Y, like y y yo yo or yoga instructor. Y Y. The letter Y. It's yellow. See if you can find it. Yellow. A yellow Y. Why is a tricky letter. It makes a lot of sounds. It's very tricky. If you can't find it, it's above a penguin. Above a penguin. There it is right there. And we found all the letters in Earth Day. Good for you. Kiss your brain. You did it. Mwah.